Like, guys, uh, jump into the market maker or market taker presentation. And by the way, like, I feel really like this and I've seen a video on, on Facebook. I don't know how many of you have seen it. Like, uh, a guy took a pen and drafted, like, just painted, actually, a circle around an ant. And the ant didn't go out of that circle. It was painted. How many of you have seen that? Wow, are you all speak English? Like, I'm all fine now. That's so cool. So, I feel like this here, like, why we should be restricted by this? I mean, it's not a question to you or, like, it's, it's just to Ted, probably it's because of filming. But this is exactly what I will be talking about right now. And let's, let's, let's proceed. Sorry for actually... Uh, we will be talking about what is the mixture about between business, between philosophy, and nature. Because I believe, and in my experience I've seen, this to be of a great mix. It was a fantastic, beautiful, uh, whatever you call it, a storm. I'll tell you why I use this word. But this is how business goes. It's not only you go to... Uh, a business university or you go to a medical university, everything that we've seen so far today is related to business. Architecture, medicine, whatever it is, it's all business. But how we are the market makers instead of the market takers in this, in this, in this competitive environment we are. So, 30 seconds, can you tell me the number? Two? Come on. You You've given them the presentation or what? Like, <laughs> why? Why is it two? Two? What? Both. <laughs> Guys, you're super smart. Do you read what's written up there? <laughs> this problem can be solved by preschool children in five to ten minutes. By programmers in, like I would say developers, in an hour. And by people with higher education in seconds. Aha, that's a, new, that's a new model. So, why, why some people, like, because not, not all of you shouted out, like, two, two, two. Only a few of you did. And this is because your brain functions in a different way. I don't know if it is because you're on Facebook, or you're on Google, or you whatever, but your brain's been implemented a new box. And as in everything in life, business is about mental models. We have, we have been, since, since we actually grew, so actually let me, let me ask you a question and I'll come back to the baby stuff. How many colors does the rainbow have? You like, you, you like two sums? <laughs> Why seven? Why seven? You've given me an answer and you don't have an argument for your answer? Shout out, por favor. Like, how do you know that? How can you prove it? With a prism. And if you put a light through a prism, would you get seven, seven colors? Are you sure? Somebody, please challenge her. That's the beauty of this stuff. <laughs> it's not seven, darling. It's not seven. Come on. 24, 34, 4, why? It, wrong, wrong, all of you are wrong. Aha, uh -huh. I like him, aha. Uh -huh. Of course, like it, it has all the colors, but we, in our brain, we have the box, the mental box. The rainbow has seven colors. Somebody would say nine, somebody would say five. If you've been watching, uh, I don't know, like, N like N N National Geographic or Discovery or whatever, like, you all know it's seven, but it's not seven. It's the same stuff in business. So how we go ahead, like, when we were babies, would a baby answer that question by seven, as you said? What was your name? Sean. Sean. Jao. Jao, good. So <laughs> it's... It's so, it's so simple, guys. No, listen, like, it's, it's super cool. When we're babies, we know nothing about anything, you know. We don't know nothing about business. We don't know nothing about medicine. We don't know nothing about architecture. We don't know where is the world, whatever is going on. And we ask questions. 
But the more we grow, the more we learn, the more master degrees we get, the more PhDs we do, the more specialized we get into a certain topic. And that's absolutely cool. But it, like, automatically, this is restricting us in a way. And in business, this is damaging because you will not be the market maker, you'll be the market taker. You're like, sorry, like, maybe this will be streamed somewhere. But China is copying America in many senses. I've been like, that's, 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 that's crazy, but this is still business. But they're not market makers. So, why, why all these things are happening? Simple stuff. Are there philosophers here in the, in the, in the, in the room? Philosophers. Philosoph not girls, philosophers. <laughs> philosophers. Raise your hand, guys. One, two. Do you, do you know what is that? My God, you're so shy. <laughs> you're so shy. Come on. He's a superstar. So, <laughs> this is where we are. Simplifications, boxes, like think outside of the box. Don't go out of the red circle. You know, this is, this is in business. This is applicable in business. This is applicable in companies. This is applicable in teams, in products, in services, in anything. Because... Let, let us play a game. So induction is a philosophic, philosophical term for this type of thinking. When you induce, you go from the world to something unknown. You go to your brain. Because you, you have the absolute freedom to do whatever you want. Like to think creatively. That's what it is all about. Deduction is the other way around. And how we prove it. This is logic. Logic leads you the other way. And many times when we do meetings when we do like creative research and development team or creative team or whatever. Many times we do this. We are following the logic. We are afraid to go the analogical way because it's, it's dangerous. It will be rejected by the society. And I'll give you examples now. You'll be shocked. Like I was shocked when I saw them. This is the whole theory. But let's skip it. It's not interesting. Limited creativity, number one, and uh, unlimited creativity. Let's play a game. I'll tell you a sentence, and you answer straight away. An example of Ted is... Me. <laughs> ah? The movie. That's interesting. <laughs> what else? Example of Ted is a movie. Idea. Huh? Presentation. What else? Inspiration. Look. This is number one. I've just played around. We've just had unlimited creativity thinking process. But if we turn around the sentence, that is example of Why are you guys laughing? I don't get it. <laughs> huh? Did you, did, you, did you get the player here? I, I played a little bit with your brains, and maybe you're a bit angry with me now. And, uh, that's not the point, guys. So, there is a very good model that I apply to the businesses I work with. I'm, I'm currently having the fantastic pleasure to work with, difference of different, to, with businesses from different continents, different industries. And I help them improve, not their products only, not their services. I help them improve everything in their business. And it's not my fault. It's our fault, because we think together. But we have a fantastic model that works perfectly fine. Not in a day or two, but like in a year. You don't get the innovation straight away, and we will talk about it now. This can be applied in administration, in marketing, in HR, sales, finance, whatever aspect of the business you have. And look how many industries I found in Harvard Business School that can be used for that. I'm sure that many of you are working in those. That's, that's, that's a huge thing. Because you see Tesla, you see Airbnb, you see Facebook, you see so many things. But how exactly that happened? If we go back to that fantastic slide I really love, to think in a creative way means to forget. 
You need to forget your models. You don't need to think outside the box. You need to think as if there is no box. And this is super difficult. This is super difficult. For me, it's difficult. And I'll show you how I'm trying to do it. Because my brain is angry with me. He's telling me, yeah, hey, you, man, like, yeah, I, like, you've been told you should think like this. You should stay here. It's wrong to do that. But I say, uh, can I try? Like, will you be angry with me? But let's see. I, gi I, I give you examples now. You know, like, you know those guys? Huh? Tesla and Edison. Wow. My God, you're super smart people. Like, I'm so, <laughs> wow. Do you know who had more money? Because it's all about business. Like, I'm talking about market maker or market taker. Who had more money? Edison, Edison, why? Why Edison? Because, what? JP Morgan? Come on, if I had money, I'll invest as well. Mmm, cool, that's, I like it. So, this guy, Tesla, amazing brain, super smart guy. My God, like, super smart guy. He invented, you know ACDC, not the band? Yes. Who had the money? The one who had the courage to take action. Creativity was this guy. This was, this was the guy who was creative. And this guy, Edison, was innovative because he had the courage to do all the things Tesla invented. To think creatively, you need to think twice. You need to change twice. You need to change your perceptions, your mental models, your boxes, in your business, if you want to do it. You need to change your mind first and then to take actions and change whatever you've been thinking about. Because if you don't do it, somebody else will do it. This guy died in New York, guys. Absolutely broke. He had no money. He had no money to pay his hotel. He had no money to go to, to eat. While this guy is still his company. I met the innovation director of his company uh, for Europe, Anos, like a month ago. Super smart guy. And he confirmed all the things I'm talking about you. Um, about now. So, tell me why and which, actually, which, you, you know which one is more expensive, right? But why? Can you live without water? Why then you pay so much money for diamonds if what's of a vital need to you is water? Supply demand? Mm. Marketing. That's cool. Huh? Vanity. Okay, cool. Look what I found on YouTube. <laughs> Look what I found on YouTube. Tablet. Philips. This is the mouse. We all have mouses now at home. Xerox invented the mouse. Xerox is not at all producing mouse, mouses right now. And this is Philips toothbrush, sending data to your dentist straight away. But let me send you something. And they will tell you, like, hey, Mike, like, you know what, like, you came here to my office and you're asking me why you have problem with your teeth. But you haven't brushed your teeth for a week. I say, like, how do you know? Well, I've been tracking data from your toothbrush. <laughs> Samsung, look at this. When you imitate, you don't innovate. It's boring. Tell me what is that. And please, and uh, please, don't, don't fall into the wrong box. This is interesting thing. Do you know what is it? Selfie stick. <laughs> or the magic stick. This is umbrella. You're right. I really, something I'll share with you. I really love this sentence. The light bulb is not an improved candle. Because to create a light bulb, you need to think in a different mental model, which is, in order to have light, you need to prevent something from burning, not to burn something. This is the same thing. In order to protect yourself from the rain, you don't need to use something material. You can use something unmaterial. And that's amazing. I've seen it in London, honestly. I was shocked when I saw this. I didn't know what is it. Let's proceed. Uh, I, think, I don't think that we'll have time for this, but I promised some guys here to play some music. 
And this is music uh, that you're going to love. We're going to change, the, we're going to skip the paradox, we're going to skip the Aristotle's experiment when he did not have any computer and he proved that there is gravity on Earth. He's a super smart guy. And we all have computers now and we're not that smart, I think. <laughs> Me as well. So, we skip all these things because there is no time. But I want to show you something. How are you thinking creatively? I do meditate a lot and I do travel a lot and I do appreciate a lot of things in nature. That's why I believe that between business and nature there is a huge connection. I don't know what you think about it. But that's how you can get creative. Just look at the nature, it's fantastic. It's beautiful and it inspires you to think in a different way because you're not surrounded by people around like with people telling you what is wrong or, or right. And that's amazing. So I want to go to this. How can we play? Should I click here or, or we play it? Listen, we have time for the music. Wonderful. I, I love Beatles. Honey came in and she got me red handed, creepy with a girl. But I really like Shaggy as well, you know. Picture this, we were both what do you think? Naked, on Mixing the Beatles with Shaggy. This is a channel, TV channel, broadcasting in Switzerland and Germany. All this time she was standing Making she much more money. Then MTV. How did he do it? Ah, you want to watch and listen, you know? You don't want to switch the channel now. And there is the secret formula behind it. Cool. Go to the next one. No, 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 no. Okay. Canal Plus. Plus, or part of. Uh, so can I have two minutes more? The volume up. <laughs> this is a new TV series broadcasted in all France and be developed by the creative director of Canal Plus. And it is targeting the digital kids nowadays because they don't watch TV, they play games. By doing this thing, you can track them. And they had, like, they made so much money. They, they made, like, billions, probably. He told me, he confirmed to me, it costed him nothing because he didn't film with actors. Listen to the music. This is music that some generations back in time, like 10, 15 years, listened to. But it's mixed in a nice way. The last one. Would you would you imagine go, 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 this? Go, 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 this is those are examples from the entertainment industry, guys. Entertainment industry is fantastic. People don't have money and they do party. And if you no, it's true. It's worldwide. So if you manage to mix fifty cent, if you have the courage to think about it, what do we play tonight? to have more advertising rights. You play 50 Cent and ABBA. This is really angry with me. I thank you very much. I would have said much more, but I don't have time. You're super cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you. If you want to talk about it later, I'm happy to do it.